Hi, I'm Andrew Scaglioni with Radio Cloud, the industry's first 100% cloud native automation content management and production platform. Now, when you use Radio Cloud, there's a lot of modules, but there's no place you'll be spending more time than the playlist page. And just as our other pages and modules inside the Radio Cloud platform, all you have to do is navigate by using the top bar. So we'll go to the local playlist page for this station, and I'm really excited just to show you all the features on this page because there are so many. So let's take a look back at a previous day in the week, which you can access jumping ahead or jumping back with the calendar here in the top right corner. What that's gonna do is load the playlist. One of my other favorite features, the ability to search the playlist for anything. So you see this Van Halen song right here. Let's just type Van Halen and see if that's the only one for the day or if more Van Halen songs are gonna pop up. And it's searching each hour, you can see one by one. We already have that first one in the bag, and then there's one in the three o'clock hour as well. So that's a quick way to search for a song to see if there's an artist coming up that day, or to see if there's a jingle or promo you're running that day. Another quick way to navigate the playlist is this jump to hour button. You click it, and it drops down all 24 hours of the day, and you can quickly, without scrolling, jump all the way down or all the way up the playlist as needed. Now what you see here is the six o'clock hour for a 24 seven station that we run completely out of radio cloud. The purple elements are your legal IDs, jingles, promos, liners, stationality. Green is music, red is voice tracks, and then brown is your local content. So in this case, local news, and local weather. Blue, I'll get to in a second, but that's another way you can really drill down and localize using Radio Cloud. Of course, right here, you have the cumulative time running for each hour. You have the duration of that specific element, whether it's a jingle or a song. You have the swap button right here, which is really neat, both for jingles and for songs. If you need to last minute swap out a button, you click this music selector, it pops up your library, you can search by artist and title, and you can swap in a song, for example, if someone got inducted into a Hall of Fame, or if a famous artist or band had a member that died and you wanna honor them in your show without having to change the entire music log, you can do that quickly. You have the artist here, you have the title here, and then you have all these cool little elements right on the playlist. So the ramp time of this White Sank song is 22 seconds. The ramp is what we call the intro or the post. This is just that ramp up time until that song really starts and hits that intro point or that first note. We also give you the ability to see the lyrics of each song. We give you the ability to check out social media. So some quick prep for your jocks or programmers with Wikipedia write up, and depending on the artist, a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter feed, depending on how new they are, how popular they are, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We also give you the Spotify metadata. So this page is really cool. It shows you how acoustic a song is, how danceable it is, basically how upbeat or calm a certain tune can be. Also tell you the release date and then the popularity. And the popularity is actually used to do hook promos. So if you have hooks of a few different songs coming up in the next hour that you want to say, hey, coming up here on our station in the next 30 minutes, we can take the three most popular songs from the Spotify rankings to create that promo for you. We give you the ability to use the audio editor right on the playlist, which is explained in a different video on our page, but that's going to give you the ability to set multiple mix points, segues, and see your metadata on one song. Again, we'll go into more detail on that uh, when we talk about the content management side of our software in a different video. And now on the far side here, we match up the IDs to your music scheduling system, whether it's Music Master or Selector or another system. That's what the LID and the AID are. And then the mood is another really cool way that we can sort your songs and your music. Say it's mood one, two, or three for slow, medium, or upbeat in terms of the tempo of the song. We can match those up to different voice tracks in the archive and other things to make sure your station sounds as smooth as possible and isn't going from a fast voice track to a slow song or vice versa. On the 
voice tracked elements, in this case the network content, we use Amazon Transcribe as a proud partner of Amazon Web Services, which gives you speech to text. And the idea behind this is that ultimately every track gets transcribed, everything gets saved into an archive, and ultimately you can build up an archive of tracks and reuse some of the evergreen voice tracks down the road to save some time when you're producing a show or multiple shows. Now the time check section is really cool, and this applies for time checks, it applies for temperature checks, and other ways you want to localize it. And what this is, is the ability to have your jocks, your hosts, your announcers give updates. And these are all stored in the archive, whether, like in this case, the 612 update, this jock Paul would just say something like, Hey, it's 612 in the morning, and we got more music and weather coming up next. For the temperature check, it would be something similar. Hey, it's 73 degrees outside this morning. And where we get the 73 degrees is at the top of each hour. You see this weather.gov API that we've hooked up to. So this is a lot of work at the beginning of your partnership with Radio Cloud in terms of building up that archive of times and temperatures and other local elements that Radio Cloud can then automate down the road once those are saved into the archive. So every morning, Paul's got this whole section here automated, and it's stuff that he produced a year ago and doesn't ever have to produce again. Of course, you can produce new versions of it and new elements whenever to refresh it, but rest assured it's always in the archive. Over here is the share function. So if you have a really good voice track, a talk break, a creative jingle, or a cool commercial you want to share with your listening audience. You can click this share button. You can either copy that audio, send it to WhatsApp, email, Facebook, or Twitter. And then on the far right is just a graphical representation of how Radio Cloud is automatically mixing and segueing your elements from a jingle to a song to a voice track to a promo and on and on. So here's the best example right here. We have this white sake song leading into a voice track leading into Earth, Wind, and Fire. So you see white snake fades, the network content or the voice track begins, and then after a few seconds down here is when the next song, September by Earth, Wind, and Fire kicks in. It's playing under it as a bit of a bed for a few seconds, and then you see up here it fades the network content out, fades the music all the way up, and plays that song out. So that's one thing Radio Cloud does really nicely, is it's automatic mixing and automatic segues in your playlist to make each hour feel as smooth as possible. There's also back timing. So Radio Cloud is always calculating and always timing to the bottom of each hour, whether it needs to be a static stop at the top of the next hour, or whether there's a few minutes worth of time when your station can float if it's okay to start the hour at two or three minutes past. Either way, Radio Cloud's calculating, figuring it out what's the closest I can get to the top of the hour, or how can I hit the top of the hour exactly. In this case, it didn't need the last song and the last jingle of this hour because it's calculated with this Cranberry song, 657 plus four minutes. That's gonna get me to 701 and change, as you can see down here, and playing this extra jingle or this extra song would push me a bit over my limit, so I'm gonna automatically float those, end with the cranberries, and go right into the top of the next hour. There's also the ability to generate uh, basically an air check for your talent or for your programmers, and you can do that by clicking the render button at the top of each hour, choosing your segment, and then downloading it. There's also almost instantaneous reaction in terms of getting voice tracks, getting new elements updated in the playlist. Say it's 615, my voice track's airing at 620. If I record it at 617, it's gonna get into the playlist. But just to be sure, you could always hit this refresh button, regenerate that hour of the playlist, and you know your elements are gonna get in there. So that's really the overview of the local playlist. It's as much information as we wanted to give to jocks and programmers, and a wide variety of information just so you can kind of live on this page and make sure that you have everything you need, whether it's decade, beats per minute, 
artist, title, the ability to swap songs, that graphical representation of how songs are mixed, and even the ability to share your content. That's all done right here on the local playlist page. When building the playlist page, our goal was to provide both jocks and programmers with as much information as possible in one location. Everything from social media to beats per minute are displayed to give the station a better sound and more quality content. For more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of our platform, head to our website, radio.cloud, and stay tuned to our social media channels.